hi friends today in this video we are going to check how we can create a complete food ordering system with wordpress and you can also create an android app for our restaurant with wordpress like this and this app is totally free so when a customer can use this app and they can just order food from this app a customer can see the product or the foods on this app and they can just order and they can also write reviews and much more options are available on this app so when a customer order a food so when we will receive that order on our pos system so we can send that order directly to the kitchen and we can just complete the order okay so this is the app which we are created so customer is paying and they can just complete the checkout with the available payment method like cash on delivery or whatever payment method they will place an order so you will get directly the order to your POS system and you can see you have to order notification like this and you can just go to that or particular order so your staff can manage all these things once they receive order they will see all the details about the customer address and the order details everything they can just send to the kitchen once it will send to the kitchen it will be available on the kitchen screen with a sound and so the kitchen staff can manage that order once they receive an order they can just prepare the food for that particular order and they can just complete mark mark complete that order they can just complete the order like this on the kitchen screen itself and they can just complete the order like this on the second scenario we can go to the table or of the restaurant and they can the supplier or the waiter can just choose the table for from the uh, customer and you can also add much more tables actually this is a demo website and this is a tutorial video so i do not add much items so once the waiter is just choose the, a table and they can place the order from the list and it that particular order will be directly go to the kitchen screen like this and they can also get a sound beep sound and the kitchen screen also get a sound so it will be alerting for the chefs or the kitchen staffs once the order is completed the kitchen staff can mark completed the particular order and it can be seen from the POS system of our waiter or our restaurant staff can manage that particular order and they can just complete that order without paying and everything they can be managed from that POS system. So they can choose that particular table like this as you are seeing in the video and they can just install that and they can just complete the mark checkout okay they can just complete the checkout process they can just choose the amount like this and the customer giving the amount that all this change uh, and all this the stuff all these things the staffs can manage so once they complete that the order is completed okay guys now like this we can go to our pos system and this app also have various functions like this and that once the staff is signing out they can have an option to sign out this is the pos screen of our restaurant and the customer can log in to the pos system with the given username and password and all the systems on the pos system is available on this software also like this so it can be installed on your computer and you can just use it for your restaurant and this is completely built on wordpress and woocommerce once you take an order you can just add the customer name here or if you can if you want you can just continue as guest also you can just add the balance amount and everything when a payment receive when a customer gives the amount you can just add the exact amount 
and you can see the balance amount and everything on the building dashboard itself and also the restaurant can staff can print the orders and they can just pay the order and they can also take the prints print out for our the product you can see the product list or the food list from this print option and you can also how much more options are available on this POS system and the table option is available and all these available options are available on the POS system of our waiter or the supplier and you can see the order is here directly here and also you can manage this order okay guys now we can go to the video and check how we can create this website so we can go to the video and we can start creating this website and the POS system so in order to create this website or these things first we need a domain and hosting domain means a website name and hosting means the space for keeping our website files first you have to click on the domain checker i bought the domain from the hostinger.in you can also check the below link and you can buy it from there also i am searching as a demo domain and you can check your domain here make sure to check a appropriate domain name then you can select a hosting also click on shared web hosting and you can choose more web website that's why i choose the basic plan you can choose the premium plan then you can adjust the time length here and click on check out now option and here you can log in with your google or facebook account and choose a payment method there are lot of payment method is available you can choose upi paytm etc once you finish that complete to check out and you will get a email notification about your control panel and all other details so you can go to the control panel like this and click on manage and here on the control panel section control panel section you can manage all your website details and now just click on the auto installer option and just select wordpress from it and we can install wordpress and now enter all your details like username password email website title etc once you finish that just click on install and wait for some time to get installed wordpress on your website now this is your default website now just type wp hyphen admin along with this url so you can go to your dashboard and enter your building credentials there now this is your wordpress dashboard and you can see some default plugins are already added. and you can see some default plugins are already activated on our website so we can disable all that plugins plugins means which give functionality to your website so it's just deactivate all the default plugins we don't need anything now just select all and deactivate and delete all the plugins once we finish that just go to the home section and now we can add a theme for our website just go to the appearance and click on theme and click on up new and we can use a free theme for this website just click on blocks key and just click on install 
our theme is installing on our website and just activate that once you finish that install blocksy companion as you are seeing in the video just install and activate that plugin then click on the skip option here you can manage all your theme editing section then you can select on startup files and you can import a demo website for your website so instead of starting from the scratch we can import a demo website and we can customize easily now click on next and choose elementor click on next click on install and wait for some time to get install all these things once you finish it is imported successfully and now we can start creating our website actually for this website we don't need any customization on the theme because it's we don't need we have a already created page so we don't need to customize anything now we can change the logo here as you are seeing now click on the logo section and upload the logo just upload a logo here click on select and here you can adjust the logo height you can adjust the logo height you can add a site title here this is the default site title this is the default site title we can change that according to our requirements after that we can add a site tagline you can add a tagline also once you make finish just click on publish button and here you can see the mobile icon and desktop now just close that you can see the changes here once you finish that go to the settings and click on general and here you can change the site tagline as you are seeing on the upper side of your website you can add your own tagline for your website and click on save changes once you finish that just refresh and you can see the tagline on the browser once you finish that now just click on home then go to the WooCommerce settings and here you can add your store details it's super easy and you can change according to your users or the requirements you can change your country you can change the selling locations uh, shipping locations currency you can choose your currency and click on save changes after that there is a product option is available all these settings you can change according to your requirements you can add the shipping methods you can enable the payment options and you can change the account and privacy options all these things you can change according to your requirements and it's super easy and there is an integration section is available we don't need that okay once you finish that go to the plugin section and click on add new and type food store this is the plugin which we are using for our website just install and activate it's one of the best food store plugin and this is totally free plugin now just activate it they have premium add-on option also you can check later now just click on the skip option and here you can see this is the order online page of the plugin 
and we need to make this plugin the plugin and we need to make this plugin in the home page also later first we can check the plugin settings and we can change the settings according to our requirements okay now just click on service and you can change the service options if you want you can choose all these settings according to your requirements you can change the default service you can change the service start time service close time all these things you can change here you can change the service model settings all these settings are depending upon your requirements and you can change the pickup service pick up minimum order amount pick up minimum order amount and delivery service option is available so you can enable that also if you have any delivery service after that click on the layout styling section and here you can change the layout of your website if you want two columns you can change to two and hide bottom cut all this depending upon your requirements you can enable or disable all the settings once you finish any changes make sure to click on save changes now here on the customize section you can change the primary colors secondary colors etc after that click on the advanced section finish that just you can see the order online page we can make that page is on our home page now go to the settings and click on reading and click on reading settings and select the order online page as our home page click on save changes Now just refresh and you can see our page is our home page is changed. Now go to the product section, click on add new and we can add our old products one by one. Now just type a title, short description and a category. You can add add-ons for the product if you have a hot and sore items whatever you need a hot and sore items whatever you need you can add that like spicy if you want more add-ons you can add that after that you can add the tag for the product tags for the product you can add some fresh track tags once you finish that add the price for the product you can add a regular price sale price and click on a product image you can publish your product after publishing you can see the view product and you can see all the product here and you can see the index of our URL now we can change on the settings section click on permalinks and here you can change the permalink settings select the post name as you are seeing in the video and here also choose the product permalinks option click on default and now click save changes right 
once you finish that just refresh and you can see the changes here all the products and we can customize our website after adding our products okay now i added all the products to my website and now you can see the product which i added here now just click on add to cart and you can see there is a pickup and delivery option is also available now we can customize our website here just click on customize and the upper section of our website you can see the order online section we can add an image or a banner I'll select design option here you can container background and select image and add a image banner for that section and container background and select image and add a image banner for that section just type select an image and select the image and you can change the text also here select the title font you can select a title font you can adjust the font size line height letter spacing etc here once you finish that you can change the color of the font and you can change the weight of the font all these things you can change here and click on publish and you can see the changes okay now our banner is ready and it's beautiful now we can check the footer section how to edit click on the customize and choose the footer section and you can edit all the section one by one just click on, on the edit option if you want to delete a section just delete that by clicking on that into sign and you can also edit the particular section just clicking on edit and now just shift plus click you can edit any section on that you can change the contents you can change your contents from the demo and you can edit that from that particular section once you finish that click on publish okay now we can check how we can edit our pages click on all pages option here you can delete the unwanted pages because when we imported there are lot of unwanted demo pages is available here on the pages section we can delete that click on move to trash and apply and now we can add a new page just click on add new and here you can add a title for your page and you can add your contents here if you want you can create with the elementor also once you finish that click on publish and your page will be published to your website now how we can see how we can edit our menu section go to the appearance section and click on menus here you can create a new menu for your website just click on create a new menu given name for the menu and you can choose the display location for the menu and just click on create menu okay once the menu is created you can add your menu items 
from the left hand hand side as you are seeing in the video just click on add to menu okay now our website building is almost finished and you can change all the editing according to your use now we can install a plugin click on plugin and upload a premium plugin which is for our POS software this is the plugin the plugin link I will give in the description box below WooCommerce POS software so just install and activate that plugin on our website and now activate that plugin and now we can set up the plugin you can see the plugin settings on the left hand side and go to the POS section and click on click on the settings of the plugin and click on general settings here you can choose the progressive web apps cache and make sure it is yes this is for our apps and now custom order number if you want you can create yes or no all other options you can use according to your requirements you can change the POS order status allow refund all these settings you can change according to your requirements and click on save changes after that go to the payment settings and you can enable the payment options click on save change after that go to the payment settings and you can enable the payment options click on save changes shipping settings you can enable that barcode settings you can enable or disable that your printing options is available here you can view the printing details here this is the default layout of your printing receipt you can change there here and POS layout setting is available you can add your logo POS type should be cafe restaurant and all other settings you can change according to your requirements it's easy and you can change and you can test all these settings so you can use that okay now click on the visit POS on the section and you can see here the staff can log in this is the default URL of the POS section you can get it from the POS section on the website now click on the store staff section here we have only one user which is admin now select that user and make sure s yes. and is POS staff then you can save changes now click on the register section and here you can add a branch one whatever if you have a lot of branch then you can add according to that branch one and you can choose the cashier section as admin you can change here and this is very important and make sure the correct mode for each and every stuff if you have supplier then you can use supplier and the checkout option is not available for the supplier so make sure to do that once you finish that you can select the user section and we can add a new user to our website go to the user section and add a new user on the user section area and you can choose the default role as a customer and once you added everything just 
add the new user now go to the store staff and you can see the newly added staff there we can also make that user also for a POS staff user also for a POS staff now click on save changes once you finish that go to the register section and just edit the previously added one and you can add the new added user also to that right after that a cashier mode if you want to add this user to a new like a supplier then you can create a new register and you can do that valid mode all this mode that you can add according to your requirements right after that click on the outlet section and you can add the outlet name here if you have more than one branch you can add outlet is here and you can see that you are also there now you can add the tables for each and every branch here okay once you finish that click on save and that table will be added to your database like that you can add the table 1 table 2 and you can choose the outlet also from the list so if you have more than one branch you can manage it one from one place and you can check all your restaurant here now we can log in on the POS page of our website and this is the POS page of our website now you can manage your orders from this window right you can see you can select the products select the products and all other details here now to create an app for this POS software go to your hosting account and WP content plugins all these details I gave here now change these names according to your branch name or your restaurant name right now just change this like this instead of the default app name you can add your own app name I'm just adding London cafe POS app you can add your own name short name etc after that click on save and now just close that and save and now just close that and now you can see there is an icon on the your web browser just click on that and click on install and now your windows app is ready and you can see here and you can open that and now you can install to all your computer of your restaurant and each and every user there will be a login username and password so it's easy to manage now this is your mobile version now just click add london cafe to home screen which is your post and now just install that and your app is ready here also super easy and you can install to all your staff's mobile phone and there will be a username and password for all the user users so if you want to disable any user you can do it from your POS software so it's safe and you can use right now this is the page which we are created and now our POS tutorial is completed and if you have any doubt you can just ask on the 
our Facebook page also just click on adding two products click on continue customer cup option they want to log in you can try to log in here you can also add more functions to this website and if you want any customization work you can contact me on facebook right once you finish the order click on place order and you can manage this on your pos software open your pos software and on the restaurant it will be already open and you can manage all your orders on the order section and on the POI software you don't need to add any products because it's already linked with our WooCommerce website so all the WooCommerce products you can see on the all the WooCommerce products you can see on the POI software right okay guys now we can check how we can create the android app with the wordpress website which we created now and the app is totally free this is the mobile version of our website so they can use from their mobile phone and they can download the app okay friends once we are going to install our android app this is the android app this is the icon of the android app the sparse screen and this app is just created with the free resources and you can see it's beautifully designed and it's user friendly and fast app so you can also create this app this is the product page of our android app and there is a review option available so the customer can review on our app for about the food products you can use for the multi vendor also so you can use for the multi vendor also so actually this is a single vendor website so i am using for the single vendor so once they complete the checkout they can just click on the continue option after entering the billing details and they can just click on continue and the order is placed all this happening on our android app and there is an account option is available so the customer can log in with their username password if they don't have an account they can sign up on our android app a lot of options are available category options are available and cart option is available you can't create this app or upload on the play store because we need to create the generic sorry the key store app so in order to create the first create the first app you go to the plugins on your website dashboard or wordpress dashboard click on build app online and just click on install now you can see the link of all these resources i will give in the description box below you can just get it from there or from our website you can just directly download from there okay once you get that you just go to this website and just click on try for free just click on that and you will redirect to this website and you can just enter these details and you can just add the app name and the consumer key consumer secret etc in order to create the consumer key just go to the woocommerce click on settings and click on advanced settings here make sure the legacy api should be enabled and just enable that click on save changes now go to the rest api section and click on add key and here type a description about your app you can just add your app name and here make sure read and write 
then click on generate api key now you will get the consumer key and consumer seeker just copy that and paste it on the website just copy and paste it on the app website and now you need google map api key it's optional you can just use the google map api key i'm not using that so after that just upload this app logo app icon and everything according to the mentioned size so you can just upload that you can just upload on the png file you can upload as splash screen after that you have to upload the google service file which you will get this this is your file name so you have to copy that file name com.mstoreapp.flutter that you just copy that it will be different for different uses so and go to the console.firebase.com and enter a project name here and now accept the terms and conditions and click on continue click on continue and choose the country you can use your country name here and select the accept the terms and conditions and create the project and wait for some time to get the project once it's finished up you can just click on continue and it will take you to the firebase dashboard now here you can choose the android option here and here you have to paste that file name which we are copied and now just click on register app once the app is registered you can just download this file google.service.json file now you can click on next click on next and click on continue to console okay that's all now you can upload that file here you can just upload that okay now our file is uploaded successfully now you can just download the apk click on build and wait for some time it will take some time to generate apk and once it's finished click on download and you can just use it on your phone okay guys now we installed this app on our mobile phone and you can see the default view of this website is sorry the app is like this if you want to customize the app you can just go to the play store and you can just download an android app for customizing this app so just go to the play store and just download this app design my app just install the app you can just install this app on your mobile phone and you can customize it's super easy and it's totally free so you can just try it once the app is installed you can just log in with your site url you can choose all this option like this after that go to the settings area and you can just log in with your username and password of your website once you finish that once you finish that you can click on appearance and you can just import a template from this list or if you want you can create a new template i am just using this template and you can just customize it that's all okay once if you want to customize anything just click on that particular section and you can see these options here like color title padding margin etc from here on the downside on the settings section 
you can see the children option on the second option and here you can change the images link text etc all the images are coming from your website so you don't need to upload anything on this app so it's so easy and it's already connected with your WooCommerce website so you can just customize everything app itself so it's very useful uh, useful app and totally free so you can just try it all the links and everything i will give in the description box below you can check that thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel if you have any doubt you can ask on the comment box or you can contact us on facebook if you want to create a key store place apk file which you want to upload on play store then you can contact us on facebook or you can use the link on the description box below to generate that key store based apk file so that can be uploaded on the google play store okay thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel